I think I found Margaret Leonard. Well, most of her. Was she blind when she picked these out? Oh, there's a flower for each month of the year. Looks like Margaret Leonard had a video journal. I'll need to find a memory stick to use on the vid player to watch them. It's a business card for someone named Count St. Germain. Yeah, what's inside here? What's this? I wonder what Margaret kept on here. The dream that Charles and I shared has become a nightmare. I wanted to believe, so it was easy to deceive myself and to know that I have helped to bring it to pass is more than I can bear. I gave them everything, except for the key to it all. I must find the egg before they do. I have long suspected that Tex is a vital piece to the puzzle. His connection to Donnelly preceded the neural experiments. His coming to Chandler Avenue, a, a norm among mutants, to the Ritz, and even into Donnelly's same apartment. That was not coincidence. Was it fate, fate, or something else that drew Tex here? It was right here all the time. Under our noses, Tex has found the Tesla egg. Mason believes Tex is with us and will help us against the translator. But I have my suspicions. I think we need to get the egg away from from from. I wish I had the courage to destroy the egg. I just can't let go of hope. Poop, poop. With the egg gone, the threat would likely be eliminated, but so would the glorious future we envisioned. I want to try one more time, and until I know one way or the other, I'm entrusting the egg to the only person I know who would die to defend it. The one who prays. I was working with Margaret Leonard and Mason Bowers in neural experiments? What's my connection with J.T. Donnelly and the egg found in my wall? Why would she steal it from me and entrust it to someone else? The one who prays. It's a picture of someone named Mantis. It's a picture of someone named Mantis. <laughs> 